do a quick warm up and see how you feel. <laughs> she wants a one up Mirage. <laughs> I'm thinking about ways. Look at my tactics here. <laughs> this will be fun. Hey guys, it's Helen Yi, and today I'm so excited to be swimming with the undefeated number one ranked UFC strawweight Tatiana Suarez. So stay tuned. Yay, that was good. Like, drop it, like, yeah, like that. Okay. <laughs> Do you have enough water? Do you think? Hold on, let, let me get some more. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> Tatiana told me she watched Marab's video right before she came of us swimming underwater. 25 yards. Oh. Oh. Good job. I said, I think I can beat him. She wants to beat Marab. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Holy <Ooh>. moly. <laughs> we did it. Yay, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> Marab, you're lucky I'm not in the weight class. <laughs> I'm the cardio machine. <laughs> I found my new nickname. <laughs> the cardio queen. <laughs> the cardio queen. Yay. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> You know me, I had to make it a competition. I know. It was funny. I'm only competing with Marab, so. <laughs> <laughs> I had, like, there's Marab. like a bunch of swimmers. I'm like, I saw Marab do it. I can do it. <laughs> You're like, you know what? I saw Marab do one lap. I'm going to do two. two. <laughs> <laughs> so that was awesome. Yeah, that's why, like, it's actually really funny because, like, you know, Pat will always tell me, he's like, you know, I saw you at practice today. 
and you know you don't have to get up 10 times you could just get up like three you know no. yeah because like i'll complain I'm like my back hurts he's like well i don't know tatiana you only got up 20 times like uh -huh. he's like you don't need to do that he's like you can only get up you know just maybe get up three or four and like he's yeah like, nope you gotta get up 10. i'm always super competitive yeah <laughs> And you just, you have practice this morning too, right? Yeah, I have practice and then I'm gonna go and do strength and conditioning after this. Oh, okay. wow, yeah. busy day. Well, yeah. I appreciate you doing, you know, getting some cardio work yeah. in, you know, I love some it. swimming. Yeah, it's good to like mix it up, you know, cause it gets kind of, you know, like repetitive when you do the same thing over and over. Yeah. And I used to swim a lot for like conditioning and stuff. I can tell. <laughs> you, you know when some people are like, oh yeah, I, I used to do this and, yeah. and you're like, you, you know, but I saw you swim, I was like, holy crap, this girl. <laughs> like, I mean, forget, you know, Sean Strickland trying to race me. I'm like, you could probably beat Sean Strickland too. <laughs> With all love, of course. <laughs> tell me on Instagram, you want to challenge me in swimming and you said you'd beat me. No, I'd fuck you up for sure. I mean, you're a woman, dude. How about I give you a head start? Five seconds. I'll race whenever you want. Whenever you want. I'll fucking school you. I, I know what's on the line. Yeah, you're fucking racing a fucking man this time. You're so used to these little women racing that could probably can't even swim. Thank God there's no sharks in the water. When are we racing? I'm down. When do you guys want, when do you guys want to see me? Clown. When are you... <laughs> when are you ready to lose? Fuck, I don't... Sign me up. Let's go. Whenever you want, sign the dotted line. <laughs> well, you know, if anybody wants to meet me in the pool, I'm just messing. But it's funny because I know you love, you know, coffee, and right now it's still oh. the morning. So I was gonna bring you a vanilla latte, uh -huh. but then I was like, you know what? Being a swimmer and like um, having experience with, you know, coffee, <laughs> and then going in the pool, I did not want to do that to you. <laughs> So I don't know if it's a, is it a myth to eat before swimming? Uh, well, I've heard like things like people say, don't eat before you go swimming. But yeah, I ate right before I came. Oh really? <laughs> What'd you eat? I just ate like egg whites and like oh, toast. Oh, well yeah, no, that's actually really good. Yeah, but I think sometimes like when they say like with coffee and stuff. Yeah, um, sorry. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> don't. Worry. But like with coffee and things that can make you, you know want yeah. to go you know? <laughs> and like getting off of, like taking off of wet bathing suits like the worst it takes like <laughs> a long time you're like i gotta be but i have this bathing suit. <laughs> yeah. i i gotta you know it's like when a woman <laughs> wears a romper you're like god damn it oh, oh yeah that's the worst <laughs> or it's like and then it falls on the floor in the bathroom <laughs> that's happened before Ugh. you're like no I'm like, not the public bathroom. <laughs> I, know. I was like, can I throw this away now? <laughs> but no, egg whites is super healthy. Yeah. Like that's good. Do you usually eat like clean year round? Yeah, I definitely like, I don't know. I like to eat healthy just for me, you know what I mean? Yeah. I my, I'm like, I'm like all about my health. Like that's what I spend most of my money on is like that's eating good. healthy and like, Plants. <laughs> oh, plants. Plants. Air purifiers. We so um. You have like plants, like a garden. Um. No, like, like just like house plants. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like when I get my own house, I'm definitely want to like plant, like plant stuff. What kind of plants? Um. Like, I have like golden pothos plants. I have like an areca palm. Like. Yeah. Different. I have a monstera. Um, I have a couple Z plants, snake plants, yeah, stuff like that. Is Patchy into plants too? No, <laughs> but he like he Sorry, like lets me be you. weird and like have my own stuff. Uh, like you know, that's the best. my thing is plants, yeah, and like coffee. Yeah, plants and coffee. Those two go together. <laughs> His mom <laughs> like is um like at her house right now, and she's uh -huh. like, oh my god, I love all your plants and your coffee bar. I love your coffee bar. So you have a homemade coffee bar? Yeah, I have like a, like, well, she just like really loves the table, but I have like a whole like espresso station and stuff yeah. like, yeah. Oh, that's Like awesome. an espresso machine. Wow, that's like goals right there. I'm like, <laughs> cause for the longest time, you know, I asked the schmo, cause he knows like I'm obsessed with lattes. Yeah. And then, 
But once I got like a coffee machine, maybe I didn't use it right, but it just, you know, it didn't hit the same. <laughs> yeah. Know? So I think you gotta like, what kind of sweeteners do you like? Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, um, I would get the generic ones and it just tastes too like fake syrup. Artificial? Yeah. So like, I tend to like use like a vanilla extract so you uh -huh. can have the vanilla taste. And then I use like honey, cause I like honey. Yeah. I don't know if you like the taste of honey. I love honey, yeah. And if you're like really one of those people that really like it really sweet, just put like a little bit of sugar. But like wow. honey usually does it for me. And then yeah. I always add cinnamon. Oh yeah, if cinnamon. You cinnamon. Great. Yeah. <laughs> I love cinnamon. <laughs> yeah, I usually put that on my oatmeal sometimes. Yeah, it's so good for you. It's an anti inflammatory. You are a coffee connoisseur. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. you know to put the real stuff while me, I'm like, you know, at Walmart or Target, <laughs> like buying all the fake like syrups yeah, that make it taste bad. That's probably why it tastes not very good. If I make a syrup, it's like a homemade one. You can make your own syrup. Just do a vanilla extract. Uh huh. And then you put like you can add um regular syrup, uh, regular sugar, and like say for instance like brown sugar, mm -hmm. and you can literally make your own syrup. Could and you, you put it in like a jar, uh -huh. and you pour it in your coffee. And it doesn't have any of the artificial stuff. Uh, the schmo is the one that cooks in my oh really <laughs> in our house. Like, yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, cause he he would like be so into that. Like he even like when we when he. Uh, make steaks and stuff. He'll like chop up the parsley. Ooh. Like he really loves using herbs and oh, stuff. Okay. Yeah, That's rosemary. Good. Yeah, yeah rosemary is like good. Yeah. I have rosemary. Meanwhile, me, I'm like buying, you know, canned food. No, I'm just I was kidding. Say chicken feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember that video of the chicken feet. Yeah. <laughs> so actually, did you know the chicken feet? If you use it in your like, say for instance, you're making a bone broth, uh -huh. and you put chicken feet. It adds a gelatin, so like yeah. you have a very good like gelatin's good for you. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's what my mom said. Yeah, yeah. I'll so bring it's good some for next bone time. broth. Like I've made, uh, I'm too scared to buy it, but I'm like, I don't know, it might be worth it. Yeah, hey, I'll buy it for you next time. <laughs> no, hundred percent. I will. I so much happened over this weekend. Yeah. And you're now number one ranked. You yes. see Strawway undefeated. I know, I saw up. that and I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's so like, I, I knew the fight was gonna happen. I was super excited. And it went pretty much how I thought it would be. Like I thought that yeah. Lee would wrestle Yan just because, you know, it's been shown in her previous fights that she <laughs> struggles with like the wrestling department, the jujitsu, and like, I feel like even if she had you know, Jan had stayed on top instead of like immediately breaking. Mm -hmm. You know, it'd been better. Like anti jujitsu, it's like it like kind of lets your partner off the hook. You know, I mean your opponent. Yeah. So it's like you want to get some good ground and pound, or make them tired and control them a little bit. You know, so mm -hmm. and she didn't utilize that when she did get on top. She was just kind of like content to like just get up. You know. Yeah. Well, were you surprised that the fight wasn't stopped after the first round? Yeah, I thought that Jan was out. Mm -hmm. And she did kind of say she was, I think, in an interview. Maybe, I think. Um, so, yeah, I was surprised, but I'm glad it just went five rounds, though. Because I wanted to see a little bit more, you know? Did you take away anything from that fight from Wei Lu? Yeah, I just feel like, you know, kind of what I thought prior to that, you know, like, I feel like I have the advantage definitely like in the grappling department you know that's like no secret I think most people know that I'm a good grappler oh yeah so 100% <laughs> and then a lot of times they go yeah she's a good wrestler but I think overall my business is pretty good too so I mean your nickname like a lot of people would call you like the female Habib yeah I feel I feel like um yeah, I have the advantage there for sure. Well, now being ranked number one, and I know you just signed with Dominance MMA and with Ali, and I think I saw him post on X about like, you know, trying to get you, I know on X, it's weird, <laughs> Twitter, X, but like, you know, trying to get that next title shot. I've seen like a lot of fans say too, they want to watch you 
fight Wei Li next for that title. Yeah. Like, have you heard anything yet from the UFC? No, um, you know, I, I just hired Ali, you know, and so I'm expecting, you know, to hear, you know, in a couple, either, you know, within the next week or so mm -hmm. about, you know, my potential, my next fight. Yeah. So, um, I'm hoping that they say, yeah, you know, we want you to fight Wei Li. And I think it makes sense just because there's no one else, you know, that I think that would, you know, be, a, you know, I guess you would say, like, who would be next, you know? Yeah. I think, like, someone could say, you know, Andrade, but I just finished her. You just finished her, you, you know? You also um, have, you finish Alexa Grasso, you finish Carla Esparza, like, yeah. you have amazing wins over, like, former champions. Yeah. Yeah, I actually have... Oddly enough, I finished all three, yeah. which is crazy. It's almost like, you know, I feel like maybe the higher my competition, the more I rise, you know? Yeah. So it's like, I feel like, I feel like I am like that. You know? I feel like I know they, they give me the right look yeah. that I need in order to get a good finish. So if your next opponent is Wei Li for that title, do you see yourself getting that finish? Yeah, I do think so, actually. Um, I think that I can definitely capitalize and I think I can get a submission win. I know um, you were recovering like from an injury, like yeah. a minor injury. Yeah, so at first it was a little confusing because like they had told me that it was nothing. Uh huh. And so who's, I was like- Who's the, the doctor? Yeah, the doctor. Cause they, I mean, I got an MRI and they said, there's nothing wrong with your leg. Um, it's just inflamed. We think it's just because, cause it was on the knee where I had like a bad knee injury, my yeah. first one. And so they're like, well, we think maybe it's just so catastrophic. The first one that like, you know, um, now it's like having problems. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I went through two camps and I had no problems, you know? Yeah. And so they're like, no, the, you know, it says, the MRI says there's something wrong with it. So I just kind of took it like, okay. And then months go by. I had to pull up my fight because I couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. My knee filled up with like lots of fluid. I couldn't bend it. Oh, wow. Um, and then it turns out like a month later, I, I like hurt it again. And I was like, there's something wrong with it. I know there is. Mm -hmm. So I said, can we do another MRI? And they said, yeah, sure. And I said, okay. And then we got another MRI and it showed that I did have a meniscus tear. Wow. So they took a big chunk of meniscus out of there. Wow. Yeah. And when was that? When did they that? That was about four weeks ago. Four weeks ago? Yeah. But how are you feeling now? When was um fight, when was the fight with Marlon Vera and- That was about a month ago. Yeah. yeah. That's when I had it done. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. I was gosh. actually gonna go to the fights and then I got, I had found out I needed surgery. <laughs> so then like, I was like- are, are you <laughs> Pushing me as you say that. <laughs> no, I kept, I keep going into you. Cause I'm trying to stay in the camera, but then I'm like, but then I keep bumping into you. And I'm like, it's oh, all shit. love. <laughs> I'm like, can I just ride on your back, Ellen? You're like, well, I don't know. Hey, what are you trying to say? I'm a, I'm a whale? I'm no. Just no, I'm kidding. I'm a dolphin, a beautiful dolphin. <laughs> but yeah. So Four weeks, so how, like, are you feeling now? I mean, I you're looking great, great in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I started going live last week, and I feel great. Yeah. Everybody's telling me, man, it looks like you didn't even get surgery. So it's been nice. Um, I just wish it would have gotten caught sooner, because then, you know, I'd have been, yeah. like, already, mm -hmm. you know, good. Like, if they had caught it in December when I originally heard it, I would have been done with it all, you know? And Yeah. But it's okay, you know? Yeah. So now I'm just like chilling. Well now, I mean, you know, how things happen and come together. Now you're number one ranked, you moved up a spot. Yeah. A lot of fans want to see you fight Whaley for that title. I mean, yeah. for you, like, ideally, when would you feel ready to get back in there? I feel good, like, whenever, you know? Yeah. I think would have, like, I would hope, like, it'd be cool to do, like, International Fight Week. But that's so soon. I don't know if Whaley wants to fight that soon. Mm -hmm. I would even be down for. I'm Mexican. Hey. What do you think? Hey, the sphere. I think it'd be great to go and fight in the sphere. Um, you know, so 
Mexican Independence Day. Yeah, hey, you Mexican know. Marab is uh, maybe gonna be fighting there I as would well. love to be on the same, we were, me and Marab were supposed to be on the same card when he fought, who did he fight, Henry? Yeah, UFC Henry, 298? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, is that 298, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to be on that card, so, you know. Hopefully I can be on the same card. Yeah, hey, but that makes sense. You and know, we can the be sphere. the cardio queen and the cardio <laughs> king on the same yeah. card. Yes. <laughs> Both beasts <laughs> on land and in the water. <laughs> yeah, so it would be really cool to just like, you know, get on that card just because of my roots, you know, like yeah. I am, my dad's Mexican, you know, mm -hmm. my mom's part Mexican, so. Unfortunately, I don't speak Spanish. Oh, really? But my dad is fully Mexican oh, hey. and he speaks Spanish. Oh, do they, they never taught you? So, um, when I was younger, my dad went back to Mexico. So, uh -huh. I, when he le had left, um, I stopped speaking Spanish. Because my mom oh. was like, because what was happening was my mom said that like she would speak to me in English and I would return in Spanish. And she's like, this is too much. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just speak English, you know? <laughs> Wait, but so. does she speak a lot of Spanish or not? Um, she could speak Spanish back then. She speaks still a little bit, you know, but mm -hmm. not, she, I don't think like, I mean, not fully, you know. Okay, well, yeah. I asked because like, my parents, they're from like China and Taiwan. Uh -huh. So growing up, Chinese or Mandarin and Cantonese was my first and second language and English was third but then when I started going to kindergarten here mm -hmm. um, it was like quicker to speak English and now like my Chinese is so bad really <laughs> yeah I mean like, I you still know understand some. yeah can you could, would you be able to do an interview with Wei Li in Chinese or no yeah you, you can yeah oh, that's amazing but I mean I, I don't know all like the um huge vocab words and stuff it's yeah, more like, like the word basic. patella you probably don't know that in chinese um shikai oh <laughs> really? wow that's something i do know ah! <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> i remember something i hope my parents are proud because that's all they wanted me to get like a 4.8 gpa or uh -huh. speak chinese oh really <laughs> yeah did you get a 4.8 gpa nah that was my <laughs> that was my younger brother he's you know He's awesome. Did you go Shout to college? Out. Um, nah, I mean, I wanted to, Yeah. but uh, I went to local community college for uh -huh. a year and a half. Because when I quit swimming, mm -hmm. truthfully, like, I got really depressed. Yeah. Because um, I was forced to quit. It was never something I wanted to do. Yeah. And, um, and that's all I knew what to do growing up. I get it. So then uh, when that like changed and my plans, you know, got derailed and I was so conditioned to like every day, you know, wake up, training, train, yeah, yeah, and work hard, set goals, yeah. work hard to reach them. Yeah. And I would just swim and I wanted to, you know, turn pro, um, become, you know, an Olympian, qualify for Olympic trials and stuff. Um, so as a teenager, when that got like ripped away from me, mm -hmm. I just, I lost my entire identity. Yeah. Like it, it was really hard. Yeah, I get it. And it's kind of similar to like, you know, when I had to stop wrestling. Yeah. Yeah, so like I always say like, that's why I'm really grateful to find MMA because, you know, like I wasn't able to like attain all the goals and reach all the goals that I, you know, um, set out for myself in wrestling. Yeah. But now I can do that for MMA. Yeah. So it's like, and then, you know, even if, you know, it's like one of those things where it's like, you know, after all the injuries and stuff that I've had and stuff and people go, well, how do you, you know, keep going? And it's yeah. like, for me, it's like, well, I don't want to say to myself, like, what if, exactly. you know, if I just quit, then I just will never know what I could have been. Yeah. So that's why, despite all the in injuries that I've had, like, I'm just like, I don't care. Like, yeah. you know, it's like, that's why it was so like, emotional for me after that long layoff like my couple mm -hmm. wins that I had in a row mm -hmm. because it just meant a lot to me because I know that like you know sometimes you're in this tunnel and you just don't know if there's gonna be a light you yeah. know mm -hmm. and so when you finally reach it you're like okay yeah you know it's hard to stay disciplined when you don't have like a fight or a goal in line and like I had to stay disciplined for four years doing rehab and stuff like that and I think like there's been a lot of people that say on there, like, like I've, you know, I, 
I don't read all comments, but like I've seen people say like, well, while every while she was out, other people were working hard, and and I was like, I was also working hard. Yeah. You know, I was also doing work. I was when I was um out. I wasn't just sitting on my sofa like eating chips. You yeah. know, like I was every day. I was doing like these like meticulous exercises to mm -hmm. get back from my neck injury. And then when I hurt my knee, I had to, you know, do the same thing for that. Yeah. So it's like, you guys think like, I was just sitting around, but I put in just as much work, if not more work than these people, you know? Yeah. Just because it wasn't able to go live doesn't mean I just sat around. Exactly. And, and said, hey, I deserve the title shot now, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and I think, well, first off, I have like so much respect and love for you. like. And your story is so incredible and inspirational. And I think too, you know, people don't see like kind of the behind the scenes of, you know, yeah. how you're feeling. And I think a hard part too that people don't realize is like the emotional and the mental side. Yeah. Where it is, it must have been so hard for you even mentally, you know, to like, like you said, to overcome all that, yeah. not only physically, mentally, but to stay positive, have a good mindset, to still be disciplined. Yeah. You know, so I have yeah. like so much respect for you and Thank you. And to come back and to continue yeah. to freaking look incredible in the cage, <laughs> it's like, it, I'm speechless. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, and I'm serious. And in the pool today, I was speechless too. <laughs> like, I, I believe that you were a good swimmer. I believe that. But I was like, holy. <laughs> I was like, did I tell uh, you that I, I was think a good she swimmer or did I say yeah, I liked it? <laughs> no, you, you told me you swam like when you were um, younger. Yeah, no, yeah, but like recreationally, I never was like, no one ever taught me how to swim. No technique? No. I mean, I'm like, I think I just your technique. Looks I just went. Good. I just went in the pool and it was like swimming. Like just, I just swam. Like that's how I learned. That's why your stroke looks like a professional swimmer, and mine just looks like I don't know. No, you look great, and you have a strong kick. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm surprised. I, I always felt like I needed a better kick. Really? Yeah. That's why we're kicking around, and I'm like, I'm we getting are. my reps in. Yeah. I I feel <laughs> like we kicked at least close to a thousand yards <laughs> but it, like, it's been nice if my strength Good coach buddy. asked me if i needed cardio today i'm like i don't need it but i can do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but look you held your breath really long time like a really long time is it still recording us yeah <laughs> are you sure yeah. yeah you see the red the red yeah oh <laughs> you, I guess I can't see us. Oh, That's yeah. That's why. I'm yeah. like, am I in the camera? Earlier you mentioned International Fight Week. Hey, it's official. Conor McGregor's coming back. Wow. I've never been on a car with Conor McGregor. That'd be kind of crazy. <laughs> um, which, you know, that'd be amazing. But I really feel like, like, I don't think that, you know, she want to fight that soon. This is April, May, June. No, no way. She will fight again. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking more than likely she yeah. probably want to fight in September. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And who doesn't want to fight at the Sphere? Yeah, that's going to be cool. Have you been there yet? I, I like, seen it. Like, I've mm -hmm. gone by it, but I've never been, like, in it. Yeah, me neither. It I looks cool. Yeah, I know. It looks cool. <laughs> are they going to have that Lovers and Friends concert there or no? Um, which bands are they? The Lovers and Friends, like, all the, like, I'm not sure what bands they are, but they're, like, all the older singers. Like, not, like, older, but, like, 2000s. Like, like um, pop punk and stuff? No, or? like, like, R&B, like, hip-hop. Oh, uh, and, is that your, your favorite type of music? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, like, like, um... Like Mary J. Blige, oh, like okay. Usher, like Alicia Keys, yeah, like, like all those like all those singers. Oh, like that's what yeah. they're gonna be playing there. I think. Oh, so are you guys gonna go, you and Patchy? Um, I don't think we're gonna go, but because like we didn't buy tickets and they're sold out. God. But I'm sure we could find some because like yeah. people are probably selling them because they're like they can't yeah go or they're something. reselling and stuff like that. Yeah, which I wouldn't mind going because. That'd be cool. But he has a fight coming up, you know, mm -hmm. May 17th. So 
I'm excited. I know, in Paris. In Paris. We're You'll going be to there Paris. with them, right? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I'll he's be been there. looking good too. Yeah, um, he's, I know, he's amazing. So. Powered he's, couple. Yeah, he's, um, he works so hard and it's nice to see like, you know, I never thought I'd meet somebody who works Aww. as hard as me. And um, he's like, he gives me a run for my money. Oh, that's Which so I like because it's inspiring, you know, inspires me to also work just as hard. And yeah. I think that I also, you know, lift, uplift him too. So I feel like that's what you need in a partner. 100%. Yeah. And someone who, you know, shares the same, like, you know, goals, like, yeah. also, like, morals, values, just everything. Yeah. And, and like you mentioned, like, working hard too, because the schmo works so hard. Yeah. And, and I will admit, he does work, you know, a little harder than me. <laughs> <laughs> That's and I'm good, grateful. Though. That's good, though, because then, you know, it's like, he's leading, too. You know what yes. I mean? Like, there always has to be, like, you know you can lead in certain areas and he can lead exactly, in certain areas. Exactly, like, like that balance. Yeah, it's a balance. Yeah. Like he cooks, but I clean. Like I scrub oh. the toilets. Yeah, I yeah, wash no the dishes. Yeah, no one wants to clean, especially men. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Do you do the cleaning too? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and then like Pat likes to cook his own steaks. Uh -huh. Like I'll try to cook. Like, yeah. And he likes it his own particular. He's so particular about like how he wants his food. Uh -huh. Like I'll try. Sometimes he'll let me and I'm all excited. I'm like, he's letting me cook for him. Yeah. But then most of the time he cooks for himself. He's like, I like it a certain way. And uh -oh. I'm just like, for sure. <laughs> yeah, no, that's like when the Schmo and I first started dating because like, I would cook, you know, just for myself. Yeah. But not saying it was good, but it was edible to me, you know, because <laughs> I grew up where my dad like wouldn't season anything. Oh. Like no sugar, no salt, nothing. So no it was like salt. very bland. Yeah. How do you? Keep I know. I How do you see a lot? I don't. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. He never put like salt in anything. It was like as a kid, and my younger brother and I joke, and this is all love, but um. We'd go to school and I would like throw. Oops, oh, sorry, that was <laughs> my bad. I kicked you. Um, we <laughs> would bring, like, he'd make us these ham and cheese sandwiches. Then at school, I would just throw it away. <laughs> like, I would never eat my lunch. And then then I got an ulcer. <laughs> oh, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. That's when I'm I I'm always late to everything. Oh. I have, like, bad time. Um, oh, it says it right there. Yeah. What an idiot. It's a big it's old okay. clock. <laughs> it's yeah. okay. Well, what time is it? I'm going to be late. <laughs> I'm late to everything, Helen. Well, but I wasn't late here. You weren't late here. And I, I really appreciate that. <laughs> and we had so much fun swimming. I did have fun. Like, I, I love, like, I don't know. This was, like, probably the best interview I've ever had. That yeah. means so much. <laughs> <laughs> no. My heart smells. No, don't fall down. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't drown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this was fun. I know, and we definitely will swim more. <laughs> Do if you think you I'm gonna get a head, a, a forehead tan line? Um, depends how easily you tan. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I'm sure you're gonna rock it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh no! <laughs> like, this is gonna be a good one. <laughs> I'm sure there's and a I lot of wear, stir like makeup, so then I'm gonna be like, oh, I can't cover it up. <laughs> hey, but you know Maybe that that's in moisturizer. <laughs> yeah, but that's gonna be your um, it, it's like your symbol, your sign <laughs> when it, when you show them Rob, hey, this means <laughs> I swim too loud. I really no put breath. in the work. You see this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see this tan line? Yeah. <laughs> But Do you think I, that Marab's gonna want to redo this interview so that he can uh, <laughs> try to tell, challenge me? <laughs> yeah, hey, next time, let's get you and Marab in the pool. Let's do it. <laughs> All three of us. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I do have to ask you, after the fights, it got announced mm -hmm. um, that, cause I know you love watching Islam fight. Oh yeah. And he's he, gonna fight Dustin Poirier. Yeah, 302. For, yeah, the, yeah, where is that at? Uh, that one in New Jersey. That's so random. 
It, yeah. Wait. Oh yeah, it is very red. Because I was thinking like, where's Poirier from? But we all know he's from Louisiana. Yes. <laughs> Poirier and his hot south. Sauce. Yes. <laughs> um, but how do you see that fight playing out? By the way, that is good hot sauce. It is. I've had. I it. have tried it too. <laughs> Shout out Dustin Poirier and Poirier's hot sauce. <laughs> Just. Well, how do you think the? How do I think the fight's gonna go? Mm-hmm. I think that. I mean, I don't know. Like, you know, I think, what's that guy's name that he just fought? Islam? Yeah. Vulcan. No, no, the other guy. Dustin? Uh, Dustin, the, the French dude. Is he French? Oh, Benoit Saint-Denis. Yeah. Um, he had some success, you know, to taking him down and... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It depends on how heavy grappling Islam is, you know. Sometimes mm -hmm. he gets... He gets a little comfortable on the feet, you know, yeah. give him an opportunity. He's a lot different than Khabib in that sense where, you know, he gives his opponents a little bit more because he likes to stand a little bit more than Khabib. Uh-huh. And he's not as herky-jerky. Mm -hmm. I feel like with Khabib, you don't know if he's going to hit you with a crazy uppercut or or like a oh, overhand mm -hmm. or if he's going to shoot because he's just so like yeah. up, down, up, down. His level changes and stuff, mm -hmm. the way he does that. So... Um, but I, I'm, I'm thinking that that Islam will be, will still remain the champ. Oops, sorry. Oh, will remain the champion. Yeah, that's yeah. gonna be a good fight. It'll be a great fight. I know that. I'm like a, you know, I love watching Dustin Poirier fight. Mm -hmm. So, um, I love watching both of them fight. So yeah, it's gonna be a great fight. Just like I love watching Max Holloway and Gage Justin Gagey. Oh my gosh! I was Holy a little sad crap. that you know how it ended. I was like. You couldn't have just like maybe not got knocked out at the last oh, second, yeah. you know, because you want to see, you know, the fighters leave. Just I know. not, you know. I know he was probably concussed, but mm -hmm. he wasn't as concussed before the last yeah. second, yeah. you know. So it but was respect to them both. I mean, yeah. they're both BMFs Am for a while. Amazing life. fighters, yeah. yeah. Like obviously a fan favorite. They both mm -hmm. are. So it was. It was hard to watch, but it was amazing to watch at the same time, just like yeah. before that, you know, great performances. So, I mean, what did you think of 300? It was incredible. What was your favorite thought, fight? Well, was that your bottom. favorite fight? That, yeah, that was, oh my gosh, just like incredible, the atmosphere in the arena. Yeah. And, and also like 300 was so stacked that like, the first fight was Davison Figueredo and, and Cody Garber. I know. I, I saw that. I was like, wait, what's happening right now? That was, I didn't even realize how stacked it was until it started happening. I was like, <laughs> I was like wait a minute. Wait a minute. These are two former champions, and they're the first yeah, fight. First fight. I, this is night. crazy. And then, um, you know, we saw the the uh, debut of Kayla Harrison. Yeah, what would you think of that? I thought she looked incredible. I mean, mm -hmm. of course, you know, I love a, a good ground and pound you know yeah. and she looked great on you know even like her movement on the feet looked good yeah you know she had um some good ground and pound like i said and she got the finish which is amazing you know? yeah so it's good to see what was another great fight obviously Pereira. The, you know the main event yeah um what was another favorite fight that you Oh my gosh, God. well, Alex Per Yuri and Rackage. Yuri was just crazy. Holy crap, that was as amazing. As expected. Yeah. You just never know. <laughs> you said as expected. <laughs> that guy could be coming, like, he could be getting his butt kicked for, like, four rounds and just be like, knock out. Yeah. He's, <laughs> like, crazy. Yeah. It was, oh my gosh. And then even, like, it was so stacked. Freaking Jim Miller, who fought on 100 and Jim 200. And, Green, and Bobby so Green. Jalen Turner, Moicano. Oh yeah, that like. was crazy. That was a good one. Jalen yeah. just sort of walked away. Yeah. And then, and then that was crazy. Oh my gosh. Series of events there. Yes, I know, right? <laughs> like holy crap, mind blown. Like 300. I mean, that was such an incredible card. Yeah. Like. I was so excited for like every freaking fight on yeah, there. Yeah, I know it was amazing. Who else? Is, oh, the Jessica Andrade and Marina Rodriguez yep. fight. They had that one. Yeah. What would you think of that? <laughs> um, I thought it was a good fight. You know, yeah. it was like, was it a split decision or a unanimous? Uh, I believe. I think split. 
Oh, okay. And then yeah. obviously Wei Li and Yan Chao. Yeah. That was that was a good fight to see though. Yeah. It was um, obviously like they made history. Mm -hmm. You know, the first, first two women, two women to, to fight know. for a world championship. That was From amazing. China, From yeah. China, yeah. That it was, was awesome. Yeah. I've interviewed them both in Chinese too. So oh, it was cool. You. Yeah. That's so cool. See, that's cool that you could do that. Oh, thanks. See, I can only do English. <laughs> <laughs> and that's tough enough. You know what? English is tough. I will say that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> they People always say that, and I'm like, I don't see it. I have like a hard time saying like February. February, you know, like <laughs> I don't know. Those did, you, to did you see? Them. Okay, did, wait. Did you la laugh at the video of what he's like? Don't say the cheese. He's like, oh mayo. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, po <laughs> How did you even find that video? <laughs> I don't know. But it was literally. I was like laughing so hard. I was like, I need to post this. And you were like, maybe one of the only persons. To, people, really? Persons. I saw that. Was people funny. to laugh at it. Really? No. See, I told else? you English is hard. I just said persons. <laughs> no. But no one else laughed at that. <laughs> just you oh, just and me, me. <laughs> yeah. saying english words without the teeth yeah without the teeth <laughs> that is like, funny though i couldn't do the teeth one i was like yeah like the yeah. teeth is too much like, <laughs> yeah. i'm like there's no way you could even say teeth without the teeth e e he's like e e e <laughs> no you post some funny stuff on your instagram <laughs> did you see the one with the street tacos which one it was like they're like oh no those are street tacos and it was like you know like they're like bad Oh, bad, like, bad, like you know, yeah. like street people, it's yeah. but they're street talk. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that is funny. That's great. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I have a funny sense of humor. I no, know. I like your sense of humor, <laughs> and yeah. I appreciate it. But, um, speaking of tacos, because now I'm freaking hungry, um, <laughs> what do you usually eat like after you train? Sometimes I eat tacos. Oh, nice, <laughs> like what on kind? like heavy grappling days. Uh huh. My, my new, I wouldn't say my. My coach who does my nutrition and like mm -hmm. my meal plans and stuff, he um, he let he lets me have tacos on those days. Oh, that's great! I know. Not that tacos are bad because tacos are just literally carbs and meat. Yeah. You know? So like, I think it's when it's when it's bad it's when you put like sour, sour cream, cream <laughs> a lot of cheese. Cheese, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't do that. Yeah. So I'm like healthy tacos. Oh yeah, that sounds good. I love good. me some good salsa though. Ooh, I, I, I make I a good spices. salsa. You make it? Mm -hmm. I make my own salsa sometimes. Oh my god. I gosh. love making my own salsa. I'd rather do that than, yeah. you know. I than love buy salsa. It. But if you do buy it, buy it at Sprouts. Okay. I love Sprouts salsa. Yeah. Yeah. But I like, I like the green. I like green salsa. Like when I make it, I'd rather <laughs> make green salsa than red salsa. Like I like the tomatillos. I like green salsa. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. That's like my addiction when I. When Shmo and I, we go eat and stuff, and yeah. it's like chips and salsa. Mm. I asked for like three of those green salsas. Like, it's so good. And like, yeah, I, fin <laughs> I usually finish all the chips. <laughs> it's so good. But do oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a favorite? I'm um, all fatigued now. <laughs> do you have a favorite uh, cheat meal? Mm, I just like, like, I am a sucker for like cookies. And which Ooh. is oddly enough, like, so like, you know, Carlos Wars is the cookie monster. Yeah. When I was like, gonna fight her, I'm like, I'm the real cookie monster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're like, you should check out my pantry. <laughs> you should check out where he stashed I don't all even, I don't even buy them because I know I'll eat them. Oh. But I'm like, so I'm actually pretty good at like moderation. So like, mm -hmm. if I get a cookie and it's a big cookie, I'll eat half. And not many you, people can do that. No way. Yeah. <laughs> You can only eat half. Like you can control yourself. Like yeah, that? I can't do that. <laughs> That's I why you're definitely. undefeated. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, I have like I guess I get I have Holy a lot of self control. Crap. Yeah, sense. you're super disciplined. Yeah, you know um. So back in 2020, before I started like training again and stuff, mm -hmm. like the schmo would, you know, be at home and I'd be like, oh, uh, and he'd be doing a light workout actually he works out really hard does he but uh yeah but um 
I would be like, oh, I'm gonna so do go you. to the store. I saw oh, your pull-ups. Oh, thanks. I was like, okay, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Still can't bend this all the way, but whatever. What happened? I broke it. Doing what? I don't want to scare you. <laughs> what? Swimming. How? <laughs> I don't want to scare you. I'm like, I'm not swimming no more. No, I'm <laughs> well, I was competing and I hit it on the wall. I figured. Yeah. Like there was only one, there was only one thing that could do it. Yeah. It was <laughs> it was the most painful. They're like, oh, you went your best time, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I don't care. I'm in like so much pain. It it hurts so bad. I mean, I probably sound like a wimp, you know, <laughs> crying about it to you, but like <laughs> It was painful no. to me. It was the first time I ever broke a bone. Oh, yeah. I never. Oh, I don't want to say nothing. Okay, yeah, we're we're getting changed. There's no the topic, wood so, around here, so oh, <laughs> there's concrete. <laughs> My head. <laughs> My head. Uh, but uh, okay, this will be our last lap. Okay. Wait. <laughs> but I really appreciate your time. All the fans who love you and hope to see you fight for the title, <laughs> for the 115 pound title. Even though I, I know in the past we've talked about how eventually you'd wanna, you know, still fight at 125 as well, right? Yeah, I kinda wanted to, you know, try both just because, I don't know, there's more competition, you know, like yeah. more matchups and stuff. Like, I don't know, I like to like, I don't know. I just like, at one point that was like, I'll go down the roster, you know? Yeah. Like, it's just like, I love, I just like, challenging myself and stuff like that but um yeah i want to focus on 115 right now i feel mm -hmm. really good at that weight yeah and it's oddly enough like when rose went up and she was like you know the a big transition was like she's like i felt slower and i was like i understand what she means like yeah when i fought at 125 i felt like slower you know yeah but that was also like when i fir my first fight back in mm -hmm. a long time so maybe that could have been a huge factor yeah and why i felt so slow but I feel good now and um yeah I'm just gonna focus on 115 and then after that who knows yeah you know I might go for double champ status and, you know be the first one to do it yeah <laughs> and that's gonna be exciting you have a lot of options but for your fans who love you and miss you and can't wait to watch for your next fight hopefully for the title yes what would you like to let them know just tune in to my next fight. Don't know what it is yet, but <laughs> today we got some, um, we, we, we set some goals and we attained those goals. Yes. <laughs> we got, we went there and back, no breath, me and Helen. And then she we got did this, it. Then we got this nice interview going. <laughs>